All right, guys, what's up? And this is this is my second review, and you can already see my first up here, Dead Rising 2. If it's this is the video is taking place right afterwards, so my next review is a, a game of a very popular franchise that kind of fell off the wayside, and that is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Now, when you see Resident Evil, you automatically think, "Hey." Resident Evil. Now that's a very good series. You can you can do all this stuff. You, you just you it should be a classic Resident Evil experience. Not exactly. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City takes place during Resident Evil 2 in Raccoon City. And Resident Evil 2 had Leon, Scott Kennedy, Ada Wong, Claire Redfield, and Sherry Birkin. Which is ironically the ones who three three of the four in um, Resident Evil Six. So you play as Seal Team Six. Now I'm playing. Uh, you play as some unknown people. You don't really care who you play. in this game. You don't care about the characters. You just playing as them. And they're basically this is basically the cover up game. This shows how uh, this shows how um, the hell is his name? Er Umbrella, 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 and Albert Wesker. I think let's just stay with Umbrella. How Umbrella is covering up the whole Raccoon City incident, and they're using these six. Yeah, you see what I did there, Seal Team Six, six um, I guess mercenaries to cover everything up. You know, go in there, and take all the evidence, kill any survivors. You know that that type of stuff. And so in the game, you fight against humans and zombies. And you know it's a different game but in the end it's not what you expect because it's made by slant six games I think that's who made it I haven't played this game in like a long time I stopped playing it definitely right after I got Resident Evil 6 and like I said it's a, it's a pretty okay game but as far as being in the Resident Evil franchise I could definitely say it's not the best it's not, you know, it's not a part of the main Resident Evil franchise, you no know, number of releases. But when you get into it, you can, I guess you can see some similarities. When you find the, the pro, a few of the problems is, a few of the problems are, when you're fighting the humans, they kind of take more ammo than expected. Now, when you're shooting at them, some some very well could have body armor on, but that's that's unacceptable. There are, there are more problems than that, like the like before I get into that, I understand what they're trying to do with this game because there's they have stuff called blood frenzy, where when you get injured, gallons of blood come out of your stomach and zombies just hoard all over you they just come after you to smell the blood and just just come come towards you just try to attack you but they could have took that out they, they didn't need that the the problem with the game is slash this games i would say seal team six made it and <laughs> They slant six, six slant six games. I can't even get the name right. Made it, <clears throat> but they made it so awkward. Like the inventory system is horrible. I don't like the inventory system in this game. You you can only carry one of um. I didn't play Resident Evil. What the fuck is it? Um. You can only carry one first aid spray. You can carry one first aid spray. You can carry one antiviral spray because you can turn into a zombie on this game. And you can carry. 
I thought it was one more spray. I don't I don't think so. You can carry, I think, three flash grenades, three hand grenades, and three incendiary grenades. And all the green herbs that you pick up automatically go into your health. Now that's good. That's good. That's good and bad. I think it's good and bad because it's good because you don't have to go into the inventory and just say, "Oh shit, where's my green herb? Where's my green herb?" But at the same time, if you don't need to pick it, if you don't need need it, and you accidentally pick it up, well, now it's gone for good because you automatically use it. So it's 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 a decent game, and this is going to be a pretty short review because there's really not much you can actually say about this game that's actually positive because I'm doing I'm actually doing some justice by giving it a positive some positive uh uh speaking positive of it and that's about it really that it is I just wanted to review this game because I think it deserves a review <laughs> no it doesn't uh Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City in my opinion gets a 6.5 I could go to go go a little further and give it a 7 but it doesn't deserve a passing grade it's an okay game but as far as when you really play it sit down and play it and the the this the um campaign is about probably three hours long let me see because each depend on how it, it really depends on how fast you get through with every mission there's about seven missions in the game and when my brother and I were playing it we got through each mission about 30 minutes and we both played like we both played one mission each like I played one mission then I gave it to the control to him and he played one mission and each mission took about 30 minutes maybe a little bit over about like one or two minutes over so that's about see let's see it's 30 minutes hour minutes hour hour so about Three hours and thirty minutes. That's how long it takes to beat the beat the game. Maybe longer because of cutscenes. But overall, I don't really recommend picking it up unless you just flat out just want to see how bad it is or how your opinion is of it. But like I said, it, this is my opinion, so no one said that you have to trust me. It's just based on my experience with the game, it's not very, it's not that very good of a game. It's good if you just want to get a quick, you know, three hours, need to uh, buy some time, play some Resident Evil Operation in Raccoon City. You got three, three hours uh, to blow. Hey, go ahead and play some three, uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Uh, but that's probably what, uh, that's probably all it is all that's good for no I do not own either of these games and no I do not recommend any of these games because in the end you probably will get tired of both of them so I want to pre I want to thank you for watching these two reviews I'll see you later and I hope you all have a great day God bless peace